Um, I think one of the key things about the whole thing with my showcase is back to this thing of personalization of learning. And we say that the portfolio is the student's portfolio, but it's locked away, whether that's in Mahara or whether that's in Moodle or Blackboard or the NHS e portfolio or Pebble Pack. It's locked in there. And how do you take that with you? And you can sort of download a zip file or something, but that, you know, are you ever going to go and unload that zip file again and actually look at it? And it's who actually owns the learning. It's really the students' learning. And the fact that students are using these different spaces now, it, it, it kind of seems to me kind of the obvious next step that we need to have a solution where the students can pull in their evidence from, from wherever and that they own that content and they can then present it wherever they need to. And I suspect our students are no different to students elsewhere in that we've got students who are developing um, peer teaching resources, so we've got students creating YouTube videos. Um, so the students that have developed that, once they've graduated, it's obviously still on YouTube, but they can actually pull it into the showcase and, and share that with anybody. We've got students who are presenting at conferences and are publishing. So again, if they've got a copy of their paper, the paper they've had published in their Dropbox folder, they can pull that in, their supervisor can see that. Um, this was a student who, who worked on a project with us and won the ASME, um, Sir John Ellis Student Prize. Now, his talk was videoed, it's on the ASME Vimeo channel. Vimeo works with my showcase, so he can easily just quite quickly pull in that video. So actually his supervisor could see his presentation. Um, with other portfolio systems, it's a kind of you've got to put a link in and then you've got to go out, out of it. It's all in one place and it's there as an embed and you can see it.